All right, guys, looking at my friend's awesome collection. Now we're looking at the Smith & Wessons. We got a 32 top break here. I don't know much about it. Crip safe, you know, ain't that interesting. Now we're moving up to his first carry gun, Model 10. Model 10, two-inch snub. You see the old-style front sight on this. Okay, six-shooter, 38 special. Real smooth trigger. You just don't find those nowadays. Heavy, full metal frame. Now, then they came out with the Model 12. This is the aluminum frame. Have a four view on this. Only 17 ounces can even be a pocket snub. Great trigger on that as well. Now we're moving up to a Model 19. Though you see that shiny finish. Look at this Model 19. Very smooth trigger as well. Really sought after now, two and a half inch barrel. That's really one of the better balanced revolvers, 357 Magnums anyway, that you're going to find. So as a carry weapon in the old days or even nowadays, this would still get the job done and protect your butt if you needed to. Got some nice ribbing there to get rid of the glare, adjustable sights, nice hammer spur. Beautiful model 19. And here we go with what I think is one of the most sexy, most distinct looking revolvers ever. The Model 27 Highway Patrolman. This is built on the bigger 44 Magnum end frame, but it's 357 Magnum. I've never held one until just now. This thing is substantial. I feel manly. I'm ready to go fight crime and be a Highway Patrolman with this beautiful Looks like a four inch barrel. This one's been fired a lot. Really smooth trigger. Everything's beefy. You feel like this is stout. If I had to whack a bad guy in the head in the old days, stuff like that is what you had to do. Um, but was probably better for their safety overall and uh, even the officer's safety overall. But it's really got a distinctive profile looking down the business end. Here, okay, this is one of my favorites. I will need to get one myself someday. And now, bringing in the bad boy that could shoot down the Batwing like the Joker in the original Batman movie. Pull this out of your pants. Think the guy's going to be a little bit intimidated. We got 44 Magnum here. For all you dirty hearing cosplaying guys, of course, this one isn't stainless, nice and smooth. And the single action is wonderfully light. So if you were a hunter, this would be great. Nice, big, good checkering on the grips. Look at this beauty, guys. All these Smith & Wessons here are amazing. I got separate reviews on this. I got separate reviews on this. The Chief Special 45, look at my separate review on this. We updated it with night sights and different um, stuff there. And we also got this wonderful Smith & Wesson 22 long rifle revolver in order to train people on. So guys, we looked at his Colts, his Smith & Wessons, his others. We looked at his Berettas. Please watch all the videos. Thumbs up, share, subscribe. Get down there in the comments. Which one is your favorite? Let me know what you